Hello friends and greetings for the day. We are, as promised, getting started with the question and answer session and here the very first question came is on the decision coverage posted by one of the viewer and the, prone, uh, the question is related to decision coverage measurement. The slide here on the screen is entirely about the question as well as the solution which you are looking for. So in this particular series, we'll be taking up the questions and explaining you with a proper justification that what is this question all about and how did you achieve the answer. So the question here is on the left, you can see the program that there are three conditions which are put one after the other. If time is less than 12, if time is greater than 12, if time is equal to 12. And all three are unnested. Now if you talk about decision coverage to be measured, that what coverage is being achieved then we are not talking about the number of test cases, we are actually talking about the coverage, how many decisions are covered when trying with two tests. So this question says also that you have tried with two tests where you tried with a value 11 and value 15, which covers the first two conditions of the execution. Now, being smart enough, we understand that how many transitions in bus is being covered here or how many conditions are being covered as per the execution of the two test. So if you remember, this flow will be something right, like what you see in the center, or that is just for the justification, but if you want, you can actually create the real flow, which is on the right side, where you have only the condition points, the if and the outcomes of that. So if you see here, A will be the read time, B will be the uh, condition where we have two decisions made from that. One is true, one is false. But this diagram is not exactly correct. It is just an example to show you that how the decision should be created. Now on the side, if you go ahead with the execution and you take the first test, that is time is less than 12, which is with 11. So if you try with that, it will come on the route where it will follow number two, number three, and number five because it will be met only for the first condition which is less than 12, but not met for those other two conditions. So if you see two, three, five is covered out of six decisions in this particular. Now following the second test case here, we when we take uh, the x equal to or time equal to 15, we follow a path which is uh, one is, is skipped uh, as else because it is not greater than 12. So one, four, five which means that one is, is else, four is true, and five is else again. So now covering both the test cases, if you count, we have covered one, two, three, four, and five, which means that we covered five out of six test cases, and the answer is 83%. So as simple, you just have to draw the diagram and start counting and follow a path, and always remember the principles, and for more queries, go back to the tutorial, understand the basic fundamentals, to follow the principle. And it's easy and simple to get the right answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to take and address your queries and answer your things. Till then, keep learning, keep understanding, and keep exploring, team. Happy learning.